Goldie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back for another video. I want to encourage you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, um, I'm asking that you turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified when I drop my new, new content. All right. So today we are going to be talking about um, something that's been a long, been around for a very, very long time. All right. And those things are termed May, December relationships, I believe. <laughs> but it's when a really young girl um, is in a relationship with a much older man, like 20 or 30 years, 40 years difference, age difference, okay? Um, so these relationships usually have a perceived value to them or instant upgrade for the young lady in the scenario because the guy that she is um, dating is usually well established um, or has some type of wealth um, associated with him okay but in today's society um, these quote-unquote older men which usually uh, translates into 40, 45 year old men, maybe even 50 year old men have not secured or sustained the wealth, attained the wealth that we once associated or that we still commonly do associate older men as having attained. Okay. Um, so therein lies the issue. Okay. Not all older men are created equal. Um, young girls are being advised to date older men, but in reality, most of these young girls are being shortchanged. They are essentially trading their youth for mediocre men that we don't even want. Okay, um, men that don't even qualify for us. Okay, um, we don't want these men or date these men, yet we allow young, younger girls to think that these men are viable candidates. Okay, unless uh, they have a worth of 100k or better at 40 years old, these young girls are being sold a dream. Um, most of these 40 year olds that date 20 year olds aren't even worth 60k and we all know this um, most 40 year olds aren't going to seriously date a 20 year old unless he is using her for some other reason um, we recently had an example in the groups where a really attractive young girl was in a relationship with um, a fairly handsome older gentleman and um, through things that she mentioned it was easy to conclude that um, she was also that her her guy was also really benefiting from the partnership between the two and that and that that benefit may have been you know unbalanced in terms of what she was actually benefiting from the partnership um so instead most 40 year old men usually choose women that are closer to their age um whereas a 60 year old man would be more likely to date a 20 something and uh, take that 20 something year old seriously okay for a 40 year old man there's nothing wrong with um 35 year old women there's nothing wrong with 40 year old women um those women are still you know quote unquote beautiful and um definite catches um so a 40 year old man really has no problem a 40 year old man that is ambitious a 40 year old man that does have provider um qualities and abilities has no problem with dating a 35 year old woman or a woman in his age range um even if he is successful okay um whereas a 60 year old 
man would be more likely to date a 20 year old um, because it's more socially acceptable for, you know, a 60, 60 year old man to, to date a really young person. Now, I know that it sounds weird to even think that it's socially acceptable for a 60 year old to date a 20 something year old. And while it's not necessarily quote unquote acceptable, it is something that in those social circles could be more understood than in the social circles of 40 year olds, okay? In a 40 year old social circle, um, there would be many um, questions as to why this person is dating uh, seriously a 20 year old, okay? Um, So a lot of the, the 20 year olds that think they are dating dating older men, you know, dating 40, 45 year old men are actually being taken advantage of. And um, we really need to speak on it. Okay. Um, These 40 something year old men cannot date women in their own age range because those women see the loser in them. Okay, those women their age understand that they lack ambition and true, um, true ambition and that and that they lack direction. (laughs) They see that these men are lazy. Those women see how those men have no real plan for their future. So in turn, those guys have no choice but to date a younger woman and to therefore inflate his sense of self through doing so. All right. And the younger woman really has no idea. (laughs) She really just doesn't understand um, that her man is um, not the mover and shaker that she may perceive him to be. The younger women usually fall right into the trap. These men see younger women as easy because they usually lack a clear understanding of life and of the real world. The young women become saddled with baggage from messing with these older men. And that's the real reason why I'm making this video. They leave with heartbreak, depression, low self-esteem, self-worth, sometimes children out of wedlock, sometimes no support system for that child from the father, whether physically or financially. Okay, these young women have been brainwashed to live inside this fictitious world that a beta 40 year old male created and now has to learn to live in the real world outside of his manipulation at such a young age. It's just really unfair. It's just really unfair when you think about it. It's really sad. I I believe that the following guidelines could be helpful in being followed. Okay, for a 19 to 23 year old. Um, In my opinion, a young lady um, in that age range should be focusing on fun. She should be focusing on getting to know herself as an adult. She should be getting to um, understand her likes, dislikes, tastes. She should go to college or start a business. She should just explore herself, explore the world if possible. Um, But this time should be about her, Um, not focused on a man or anything to do with him. All right. And definitely not living with a man or no stupid stuff like that. Okay. Now, the exception or caveat for all of these categories, I guess I'll say, is if the man has... um, wealth associated to his name and he's marriage minded okay no matter what age range you are in if you are in a relationship with a guy who has wealth associated to his name and he is marriage minded um then i would you know be in support of a person pursuing that opportunity okay or pursuing that option all right but if you are not in a relationship with a guy who is who ha- who does have wealth associated to his name and is marriage minded at 19 to 23 years old i say focus on you go to college start a business do you okay learn you and know you all right from 23 to 28 i say date no more than 10 years older okay and again that's unless this man is um wealthy has wealth associated to his name and is um 
marriage minded. All right. And, um, and, and you know, that's tangible wealth. Okay. Tangible wealth. Let's not play semantics or play games. Okay. With the words. All right. Tangible wealth. All right. Um, but if not, then date no more than 10 years older. So if that's 23, that's 33. If that's 28, that's 38. All right. Um, all right. 28 to 45. Okay. Um, I say that the age range for dating should be 40 to 55, okay? And these should be the men that you would consider having children with, all right? I know a lot of women are interested in having children, and I'm guilty of this. We usually wait until, try to, like, plan it out, and then one day you look up and, like you are going to be fertile for 25 more minutes and you don't understand what happened. All right. 28 to 35 is a good time to um, walk into motherhood if you want to be a mother. All right. Not all women want to be mothers and that's perfectly fine because those women, you know, could choose to be amazing aunties or something like that. All right. You know, um, but if you are interested in having children, 28 to 35 would be a good time. And 40 to uh, 55 would be a good age range for your mate because they are mature. They are likely to have, um, you know, begun to see some success, some tangible success. Um, and they are more mentally mature and ready to um, welcome a child and really um, be what a child needs of a father. Okay. Now. If you are 30, between 35 and 50, okay, I say the age range should be 55 to 85, okay? And my thought here is that you are always young to somebody, okay? So if you're 35 and you're dating a 55-year-old man, baby, go D, okay? You are still a spring chicken, okay? When he is talking to his friends and stuff, you know, he mentioned that you could possibly still still have a baby or something <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you're still like a, 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 a nice little spring chicken I'm just gonna go ahead and say you a little spring chicken okay Goldie um and and that's still like a nice gap and you still have a man that should be mature mentally and emotionally should have um stable finances and be secure in who he is as a man um both mentally physically emotionally and financially all right and if you are 50 a lot of women feel a lot of women regret or like um what's the word they dislike the thought of growing older but i actually welcome it it's amazing to wake up every single day and to become um one day older and have one more day of experience you know like that's an amazing thing that is an amazing thing and you should be appreciative of that but anyway um at 50 you can begin to feel like you are a quote-unquote old woman but if you're dating an 80 year old man all right an 85 year old man you still a spring chicken too goldie <laughs> okay you still a spring chicken too all right and before you like um say oh an 80 year old man that's so old all right i was told that either president trump or um joe biden either one of them are 78 years old all right either one of those two men are 78 years old and i mean okay i mean i ain't gonna say what i'm gonna say but i'm just gonna say okay okay all right so 80 doesn't necessarily sound so bad um when you are of you know of a nice older age and like that um person has you know secured their you know financial stability like they have everything set okay and you are fine okay and um you know that's at 35 all right and you're mentally prepared um to handle this all right so with with those guidelines being followed the way that the benefit happens is that you know what you want to accomplish through this man all right and it should be more than just some money what you want to accomplish through him should be more than just some money okay is it a house is it a beautiful beautiful home is it um 
a, a rental property, investment property, um, in a in a superb location in the city? Is it a, a business, a restaurant, a lounge, a nail service? What is it? Is it a car? Is it a degree? Is it a place in his will? Is it a trust? Is it a life insurance policy? Goldie, what is it? Okay, Goldie, what are you trying to accomplish through this man? All right, this will help younger women who are dating older men not be taken advantage of. Before you are in a situation or in a relationship with a man, have already thought out what it is that you want to benefit from the situation, what it is that you want to benefit from him, okay, from your relationship and involvement with him. Because please understand that... Um, <laughs> he knows and he is receiving an immediate benefit from his um, relationship with you. All right. So have um, a detailed plan to get what it is that you want through him. All right. Use his resources, his network and his connections. All right. Um, maybe not during a relationship, but should things end, you will have those things um, in a part, you know, as a part of your own um skill set your own um toolkit <laughs> i'll call it the toolkit you'll have those um resources that network and those connections um close to you all right and you develop those resources networks and connections by just um being a woman that is impossible to go unnoticed whenever he introduces you whenever you attend events with him whenever you are with him whenever you are seen um, without him if you are associated with him and people know um, of your association with association with him be a woman that is impossible to go unnoticed okay and should the relationship end um you will still have access to um his resources his network and connections okay um remain connected to your own friend group um make sure that you go out and have fun stay current like know what's going on in the 35 year old world okay your whole life doesn't have to be consumed with 60 year old man stuff all right stay connected to your 35 year old life stay yourself okay um request exactly what it is that you want from him remember that you are the prize all right you are the 35 year old goldie okay Okay, you are the 43 year old Goldie. Okay, that is you. All right, so request what it is exactly that you want, and remember that you are always the prize. Okay, and if you present yourself as undeniably, undeniably unforgettable, okay, um, he definitely will be scrambling to make sure that you see that you are the prize. Okay, and if you don't feel that you are the prize, then invest in yourself to fix or pay attention to whatever it is that you want to improve to feel like you are the prize okay whether that's losing weight um gaining more knowledge whether that's um you know learning your makeup whether that's a cosmetic procedure no matter what it is invest in yourself so that you can feel your best and total self, all right? Make sure that there are um, inward investments, all right? You have to invest in yourself, in your heart, okay? In yourself emotionally um, to be successful. So um, if you see something that you don't like, something that you would like to improve about yourself, make that investment um, so that you can feel as you are the prize that we all see when we see you goldie all right all right so i want you to remember remember your love is golden goldie all right your love is golden never forget that bye <laughs>